Welcome into Duval Daily presented by JinJag.com. I'm Jordan Alugo. Thank you so much for tuning in here on Saturday, August 3rd. Jaguars training camp practice number nine in the books. It was the annual in stadium event that they put on. A lot of fans out there, big lines. But when you look look out in the crowd, it looked a little sparse. I think a lot of that had to do with the fact that people were hiding inside the bud zone. It was really hot, really sunny out there. So I think a lot of fans were just kind of trying to take cover not get burned too bad by this Florida sun. Everbank Stadium, it gets hot in there, especially when there's a lot of sun in August, right? So a lot of fans out there, pretty cool event. Uh, shout out to everyone who came up and said hi to me, talked to a lot of people, really appreciate y'all's support of the channel, of what I'm doing. Uh, so again, couldn't be here without y'all. Y'all are awesome. And getting into what we saw today, Ryan Nielsen spoke with the media before practice. You had some players, a long list of players not practicing. You had a couple injuries that popped up. And then there were some standouts during practice, so we're going to talk about it all. Really appreciate y'all tuning in. If you enjoy the channel, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. You can also check out genjag.com slash shop, pick up some new Duval gear, become a channel member here on YouTube, get access to some cool perks, including discounts at genjag.com. So uh, getting into what we saw. Ryan Nielsen, as I mentioned, talked to him prior to practice. He said Friday was a really good day to see real tackling. Said he learned a lot about the guys. Also commented on Dewey Wingard. You know, Dewey is dealing with a little bit of an injury situation right now uh, with a knee. And Ryan Nielsen talked about how they're going to work a lot of different looks and players without Dewey out there. And they do expect him back. So it's not like he's going to be down for the count. Uh, Andrew Wingard will be back out there at some point for the Jaguars. But in the meantime, they're going to work a lot of different looks, different players in certain positions, all that stuff. So uh, they're going to going to try to roll with the punches. Um, talking about the defensive coverage, he says mixing them up really helps a lot of players kind of be ball hawks. And then you have to be a naturally good playmaker as well to become like, you know, talked about Jesse Bates, was asked about Jesse Bates last year, who I think led all safeties and interceptions, had five or six picks last year for the Falcons with Ryan Nielsen as the defensive coordinator, uh, asked if Andre Sisco could kind of be that type of guy, and he said he's working in that direction, and talked about the duo of Antonio Johnson and Andre Sisco really playing well, talked specifically about one Antonio Johnson tackle on Friday that really impressed him. Um, Nielsen was asked if it's kind of the dog days of camp now. You know, you're about a week and a half in. It's hot. A lot, a lot of long practices. He said, never dog days. He said, it's awesome to be here. And he feels that way. Says his staff and all his players feel that way as well. So I think they've got the right, right mindset moving forward, certainly. Complimented Matt House when I asked him about how the linebackers have been getting downhill so quickly and, and making a lot of plays in the run game. Complimented linebackers coach Matt House and said, you have to have the guys as well. So I think that he feels really good about his group and he feels really good about his linebackers coach. Asked specifically about Devin Lloyd, said he loves the work ethic, the mentality, coming in and focusing on all the different details that, that it takes to be a great linebacker. Talked about a screen that he blew up yesterday, and he absolutely did blow up a screen. It was, it was a hell of a play. Uh, Mason Smith, talked about him. Jaguars second round pick, said he's doing a really good job in the run game. Says he's still got to work on some pass rush stuff. That's how it is with all the young guys coming in from college. But uh, I think that he's excited about Mason Smith's potential with the Jaguars. And then uh, the final note here from Ryan Nielsen I want to talk about was he talked about having the individual relationships with players. Says that's one of his favorite things about coaching. Compliments his staff on that mentality as well. And I think when you have an individual relationship with a person, not just the the player, not just a coach-player relationship, but an actual relationship where you're getting to know what these guys are all about off the field and um, you're also coaching them about what they can do better on the field. That's when you can really get the best results in today's uh, era of football and and sports in general. So I think that Ryan Nielsen, great mentality there. Players not practicing today. Stephen Jones has the calf still. Josh Peterson, an ankle injury. Patrick Murtaugh, ankle injury. That was the most gruesome injury I've ever seen in person. Ventro Miller has a hand, had a cast or brace on the hand today that you saw. Cooper Hodges still dealing with a back injury. Anton Harrison is in concussion protocol. Andrew Wingard has the knee, as we mentioned. Eric Armstead still on the pup, recovering from his offseason knee surgery. Cam Robinson did 
did practice. He was limited with his shoulder. Um, so you've got both tackles on the mend a little bit. An- Anton Harrison in the concussion protocol. Cam Robinson dealing with a little bit of a shoulder. And then injuries during practice today. You also saw Ezra Cleveland getting looked at. He left with a leg injury, did not return. We don't know the severity of that, what's going on there. But uh, that's three of the starting offensive line dealing with something. Anton Harrison in concussion protocol. Cam Robinson has a shoulder that's limiting him. Cleveland left practice today. So that's definitely something to keep an eye on. You never want to see your top offensive linemen dealing with injuries this early. But it's, it's the way of training camp around the league right now. It really is. Greg Jr. sustained a knee injury, helped off the field, did not return. Um, Blake Hance was getting attended to by trainers, but apparently he's okay. Jaguars did not mention him as one of the guys that got injured today. Um, looking at what we saw on the field, Cam Little, absolutely getting it. Missed one from 51, but made a bunch of other kicks from 40 and 50-plus yards. I only had the one miss during team. And then at the end of practice, Pretty cool moment. Doug Peterson iced Cam Little. Last play of practice, they're going for a long field goal. Um, and Doug Peterson iced the kicker, you know, saying that the defense called a timeout. And then Doug Peterson got the crowd to get fired up and, and offer some crowd noise and try to make it a little bit more, more difficult, put some pressure on Cam Little. And he absolutely drilled it to end practice. So this is a guy that's confident, talented. Everything's looking good for Cam Little right now. We'll see if that continues. Uh, Devin Lloyd playing unbelievable football right now. He had a sack in team. He had a pass breakup in team. And you've seen him rolling downhill against the run consistently every single practice. So Devin Lloyd's playing great. Uh, Devon Hamilton dominating. Whether it's one-on-ones, teams, uh, you know, he looks like that guy that was on track to be a great, great player last year before the abscess. So very excited for Devon Hamilton, um, for him personally, and then for what he can bring to the team, obviously, as well. I think that you're seeing the Jaguars' defensive line do a really good job against the run, especially the ones. Um, I think that early on in this practice, it was really difficult for the Jaguars to get their run game going. They did have a little bit more success with the backups. Um, had a couple nice Travis Etienne runs later in practice, the final drive for the starting offense. I thought Etienne had a couple good runs. But overall, throughout training camp, the Jaguars' run defense for the starters has been really darn good. And overall, it's been very good. Um, Looking at one-on-ones, Walker Little, he did a nice job in in a couple one-on-one reps against Josh Hines-Allen, who tried to hit a spin, tried to bend around the corner, and Walker Little was having none of it. Played them very well. Devon Hamilton, as I mentioned, one-on-ones, it's so tough for a center, no matter who the center is, to handle a guy like Devon Hamilton one-on-one. And you saw Devon walk Mitch Morris back into the backfield, and then you saw him toss him on another one, which we've seen earlier in the week as well. So Devon Hamilton, as I mentioned, just playing great football. Uh, Travis Gibson had a nice rush in one-on-ones. Javon Foster, I think, continues to do a good job in pass protection in those one-on-one drills. And we're getting into more team stuff here. Obviously talked about Devin Lloyd, Devon Hamilton, the running game situation. I thought Trevor Lawrence had a good day overall. Missed a throw or two. One was egregious in the end zone. Should have been an easy throw. There were two guys wide open, and for whatever reason, it took him a second to release it, and then it was an inaccurate ball. But other than that, you saw some some really nice plays. Like He ended the practice um, with a dime to Christian Kirk in the end zone. Um, He was covered by Jari and Jones, who had very tight coverage, but dropped it in the bucket in a perfect spot for Christian Kirk to go get it. And Kirk was able to get his feet down in bounds, it looked like, and hold on to that football. So that was great. You saw him throw touchdown passes to Evan Ingram. You saw him throw a touchdown pass to Gabe Davis. So I thought Trevor had a pretty good day overall, but you you have that one that you'd really like to get back if you're Trevor Lawrence. And uh, other than that, Solid outing for him. Jalen Jackson, I've talked about him on the show, number 36, the young running back. He's doing so well. He had an incredible contested catch today. He ran hard. He's low to the ground. He's quick. He's feisty. This is a guy that I'd love to see him be able to fight for a roster spot or maybe practice squad. I just think that there is so much competition at running back for the Jaguars right now. And one of the guys standing in his way, Dearness Johnson, he had a really nice run, had a great catch himself. 
uh, contested catch. So these running backs are playing pretty well, especially in the passing game. And again, Dearness Johnson and and uh, Jalen Jackson, they're not going against the starters very often. So you're seeing them, that that unit running the ball and doing a little bit better in that regard than the starters are. Brevin Easton was able to score a touchdown. You saw Antonio Johnson get a pass breakup in the end zone. Great play for him. Andre Sisco uh, disrupted a Trevor Lawrence pass to Brian Thomas Jr. PBU in my book, certainly. Uh, good play by uh, by Andre Sisco. Uh, Trayvon Walker had a pressure in teams that would have led to an interior sack. You saw Rasheem Green get a sack. New Jaguar. Always happy to see that. A guy that I ad- advocated for the Jaguars to bring in. They did. And they weren't listening to me, obviously. But they did do what I, what I thought they should in that regard. And they brought him in. And he is making some plays already. And again, Devon Hamilton, I think. Devon Hamilton and Devin Lloyd to me, we're the stars of the show today. They are so good, and I think Gabe Davis is playing really well uh, these last few days after pads have come on. So those are the three I've been really impressed with the last few days, uh, just being being dogs out there. Uh, you know, Gabe Davis being incredibly physical, doesn't care if there's there's bodies all around him. He's been focused and, and bringing in the football. And then um, Devon Hamilton and Devin Lloyd doing it all defensively, and. Uh, one, one guy I would like to shout out for just work ethic and being awesome is Evan Ingram. You saw him give high fives and autographs to fans all around the, the stadium. Like wherever fans were, Evan Ingram went and gave them a high five, obviously not going up in the stands, but everybody in that front row, he's walking around and, and saying hello and just being a nice guy, and this is a, a player who has done so well since coming to Jacksonville, um, and he's always one of the first ones out there on the practice field. He's working hard. He's a man of the people. He's a damn good player. Just shout out, shout out to Evan Ingram for just being you know a really good guy and a really good player and somebody who cares about the fans and cares about his craft. So, yeah. That'll do it for this one. Really appreciate y'all tuning in. If you enjoy the content, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. You can also check out genjag.com slash shop, pick up some new Duval gear, become a channel member right here on YouTube. Y'all have a good one.